Hello everyone, Win here, and in today's epic Pokemon Theory video, we will be talking about Lissandre. And due to the events that occurred in Pokemon X and Y, the biggest question is, did Lissandre really die? Plus, will he be making a return in the remakes of Pokemon X and Y? So sit back and enjoy the hype train for this mystery. So we will be consulting the Mega Evolution X series and the Pokemon X and Y video games. First, a refresh on the final moments of Lissandre. So when you beat Lissandre for the very last time, he will start talking on how this ultimate weapon can create this beautiful world he wants. In other words, killing the human race that is slowly destroying the Pokemon world, alongside with their wars and using Pokemon as tools. And around that time, Lissandre quotes, There's not much power left, but there is enough to still use it once more. Okay, let's pause it there for now. So first, let's say Lissandre did die in the events that occurred in Pokemon X and Y the video games. So who's gonna take over the new form of Team Flare? Xenioic? Can't, because he was arrested by Looker in the Pokemon X and Y post games. So the last candidate is Malva. Yes, Malva is a very interesting character to begin with. Not only she's a news reporter and a self-proclaimed star of the Holocaster, in addition to this, she is a member of the Elite Four and a former member of Team Flare. So when you encounter Malba for the very first time, she will have a bitter taste towards the protagonist for defeating Team Flare. So the most interesting thing is that Malba helped out Looker in some way to arrest Xenuic in the post games and maybe because she knew that Xenuic will make Team Flare rise up again and even take over Lasandre Labs. Or maybe Malva has done this just to take the leader spot. Imagine being a secret new boss for Team Flare and being the Elite Four member? Wow. But then again, it's all super far-fetched. So in my personal opinion, Lasandre didn't die. LIES! Wait, what's that you say? Don't believe in the wind? Well, for starters, we all know that the main series Pokemon games and the main Pokemon anime has to hold hands in some way, in other words, Anything that happens in the remakes of Pokemon X and Y will have to be covered by the anime. So because of this, it is seen in the Mega Evolution X series that Lissandre can be seen in full health. Plus recruiting a young man named Alan and trying to gather power of the Mega Stones and the Megalith. But at this moment, it's still unknown if this power will be used for the ultimate weapon or something else. Also, Lissandre appears in the manga Pokemon Adventures as he flies off somewhere else. Lissandre tells his Gyarados that it will too be able to Mega Evolve one day. And that is the last time this manga talks about Lissandre. So there is one more huge evidence we need to cover. So this time, we will be consulting the Mega Evolution X series and the Pokemon X and Y anime series. So in the updated version of opening 3, Alon can be seen in the opening alongside with Ash. This only means one thing that Alon and Ash will meet up one day, but in what circumstances will it be? One more thing I want to point out, in the updated version of opening 3, Ash can be seen leaning on a wall, and that's not no ordinary wall, it's a similar wall that could only be found in Lasandre Labs. So in that case, will Lissandre or Alan invite Ash there? So to end this video, I believe that the ultimate weapon, when impacting Team Flare's headquarters and caving it in, the force of the impact was not so powerful. Because remember what Lissandre said, there's not that much power left in the machine, but he still used it anyway. So this makes me believe that he possibly survived the impact just because of his headquarters was so deep underground that you needed an elevator to get down there. So if the machine was in full power, most likely Kalos and the neighboring regions would have been destroyed. So yes, he did survive. And how did he make his grand escape? Well, in the Mega Evolution Act, Lissandre has a few toys up his sleeve, no other than a submarine. Due to the location of Team Flare's headquarters, it is super close to the ocean and I wouldn't be surprised if he had a tunnel system that connects to the ocean and making his grand escape to another region. One more thing, I mentioned this in the past, if all of this is the case, will Lissandre have the same clothes or maybe not? I believe when the X and Y anime series and the Mega Evolution X series comes together, at that time Lissandre can possibly change into new clothes to match the Pokemon X and Y remakes 
In other words, the new and improved Los Andre. Only time will tell until we receive some kind of news for the remix of Generation 6 games. That is all. And what is your opinion? Did Los Andre really die in that fateful day or did he survive? And if he did, is he now working in the shadows for his big return? It will be interesting if Pokemon XZYZ, the antagonist, is a totally different team and the boss as well. Something that never happened yet. And that is all. What are your opinions on this? And one more thing people, have a great day and stay hyped.